surely you'll give us a flash. Oh, here we go again. Hello, this is John Mundy. My goodness, you're looking even more of a Shirl, Dave. Cuddly Dave, don't call me Shirley, is now taking bookings for hen parties. <laughs> Striptease optional. <laughs> well, just before you slide sensuously underneath the bedclothes, what I'd like you to do tonight is just touch your radio. That's right, I'll actually hold the microphone like that, and you should be able to feel my vibrations coming through. You should be getting that, that manly warmth, that dynamic personality, the irresistible charm, and that sexy voice. You can? Good. Well, all the usual bedroom activities tonight, of course, which include bedroom light flashing, and our night rider Neville, he's in Astley Green on Manchester Road, outside the co-op, opposite the Miner's Arms. Tonight, it's later than normal. He'll be there about 12.20, because that, of course, will take us into December the 1st, and he's there collecting your toy and tins for our Christmas appeal. Now, the very first dedicated listener there with a toy or a tin, I promise you will get it t-shirt so if you're a dedicated listener and an enthusiastic flasher get yourself down to Ashley Green on Manchester Road outside the co-op opposite the miners arms with a toy or a tin and if you're first there when he arrives at 12:20, which will be exactly December 1 then you will receive a t-shirt so if you live in that area do get flashing your lights, because he's cruising around as we speak. We've also got horizontal dancing, so I'd like you to get your feet on your pillow. Get ready for that. We've got some surprise birthday calls to do. Hits chosen by Melanie Bloor, who lives in St. Helens. We've got the sexy part of the show. We've also got Dick Webb. He's joining us in about five or ten minutes' time. Silly old fool. And also we'll be dancing on the duvet. We've got our chat-up line, so girls, if you'd like to chat up the lads... And lads, if you'd like to chat up the girls, all you have to do is to give the bedroom a call on 061-228-6262. And I shall be doing my strip tease again, which is getting very popular. I'm also going to play the new single by Adam Ant, which is called Strip. Now, I must tell you tonight what Easy Olive's wearing. She's wearing a T-shirt, and right across the chest, going from the bottom left to the top right, in words it says boy and it looks very very becoming boy california actually so i just thought i'd tell you what she was wearing can i just say we honestly well i'm not why i'm going to say this we've had absolutely tremendous response to my christmas party which is thursday the 22nd of december live here in the bedroom and i've told you before it's my final under the bed clothes show if you'd like to join in the festivities you must be a dedicated listener and an enthusiastic flasher and there are two rules that apply that may get you in firstly i want reasons why that i should invite you and secondly i want a recent posy photograph of yourself and and we've had some smashing photographs in today and some great letters as well. So the address, if you'd like to join us here on Thursday, the 22nd of December, it's the final under the bedclothes party. It's Cuddly Dave, don't call me Shirley, bedroom party, Piccadilly Radio, Tinsel City, left at the traffic lights and up the escalator. And don't forget, from January the 3rd, you can join me for breakfast every day, Monday through to Friday, between 7 and 10 o'clock. And I promise you, we'll be having ourselves a really good time so if you go to bed with me now then you can get up with me in january i shall be there waiting for you under the diamond study duvet and i promise you we're going to have a lot of fun i'll tell you what else i'd like you to do for me as well i've been doing this show now just over three years and you do tend to forget some of the things that you do some of the gimmicks that you've you've had some of the gimmicks that have passed you know it all started with bed socks and garters and belly button warmers and red leg warmers and headbands i mean we've just gone through the bit we've done it all so if you can remember any of the gimmicks that no longer exist and he's here <coughs> little terry the tug will be here till the end of the year and joining us live in the studio or in the bedroom, I should say, then you can give us a call, or not give us a call, drop me a line and tell me one or two of the gimmicks. Like this one. Do you remember this? And now, here he is, picking up his answer to Robert Redford, a legend in his own bed socks. Young, cuddly Dave. <laughs> Who's he trying to kid? Those are the days before Shirley. <laughs> oh, way, Monk Shirley. Don't call me Shirley. Don't let me... We're gonna watch that body! 
Felicity Kendall does it. Angela Riffin and Jane Fonda do it too. It's Horizontal Dancing with Cuddly Day. It is. Hope you've got your feet on your pillow. Chief Inspector Dick Webb is now lying on the bedroom floor. Under the bedclothes with Cuddly Day. Hmm? Merry Christmas. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> and here he is, evening all. <laughs> Good evening, Davy. How are you? Not bad at all. Good. Did Not you bad. see? Did you see the blue lamp last night? I did. And did you see it? I did. Was it a good film? It was. It's, it was. Uh, you know, it's one of those films that shows that our training schools still, for really, young, for young policemen that come in the force, they they have a look at that, and it gives them some idea of the dangers, you know, and, and the way policemen should behave. It's still a training film. It, it's donkey it's, years old, isn't it? Yeah, 1949. Is that mm. the way that, that they still expect the police to behave? The, the you know, the communication between the bobby on the beat and, and the ordinary person in the street? Yeah, well, it's the way we would like them to behave, yeah. I mean, yeah. The, the trouble is quite a lot of our lads are in cars now dashing around the streets, but they were the days when the, the bobby was on the beat and made contact. And you had a little blue phone on the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Those are the days. I remember them well. Well, I don't really. <clears throat> OK, whatever. there we are. That's it. Chief Inspector Dick Webb, and that's our Wednesday look at crime. Did you enjoy your horizontal dancing, by the way? Bit tiring, eh, at this time of night. It is, but yeah. it's, you know, I mean, the whole idea is that we can do it here in the bedroom, and it's, you know, you can nod off straight away, you see, that's... It's occurred to me that this time of night, there's only policemen knocking about, and taxi drivers, and tomcats, and... DJs. Oh, oh, yes, but there are, of course, those dedicated listeners at home in bed. That's who I cater for. Right, that's where <laughs> I'm going right now. All right, well, look, we'll see you, I'll see you a week on Wednesday. Okay, Dave. Okay. Cheerio now. Thanks for coming in. There we are, Chief Inspector Dick Wayne. Hey, cuddly Dave. Hello. Under bed the covers, No, huh? no, no, wrong way, try again. Under covers the bed. No, no, try again. The bed under covers, huh? you, Under the bed clothes, get it right. <laughs> Easy <laughs> Olive has just actually handed me, um... A letter that her mum, Peggy... Peggy, how you doing? Can't hear me. Deaf as a post. She actually found this, and uh, it came from Thames TV in London, and it was, uh, it was the Magpie series. It says, Dear Easy, we're sending you a seven for a secret badge. A friend of yours has told us about your good deed, and we think you deserve a badge. Keep up the good work. Best wishes from Magpie. <laughs> Oh, dear. 1972. Goodness sake. Thank you, Ease. Keep all mine. <laughs> I was in the Muffin the Mule fan club myself. No, no. Sake, they're out. Do, 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 do. Hello, who's that? Oh. This is John Monday. Get off! My goodness, you're looking even more of a Cheryl, Dave. Wrong one. It's Cuddly Day, birthday call. <laughs> Kay! Hello. How are you, Kay? I'm and now. Mmm. Mmm. Kiss me, honey, honey, kiss me. It's a kiss and a cuddle. Uh -huh. With Dave Ward. Eight minutes. Now, they are some students when um, Knight Rider Neville was in Fallowfield about a couple of months ago. They arrived at the phone box and they actually did that live, or uh, another version of that live, outside the phone box. They did it on air and it was absolutely great, so we invited them in to record it. If you're listening out there, they're, they're all students, they wear duffel coats. 
They have a CMD badge on each lapel. They wear a scarf and sneakers. You can't miss them. They have books and, and pencils sticking out the, the pockets. If you're listening, gang, could you give me a ring between, say, midnight and ten past when news files on, on our number of 061 228 6262? Because I'd like you to do me another. Cheap, of course. Are you listening to this show? If not, how can you hear this? If you are listening, are you flashing? Remember, to be a UTBC listener, you must flash your lights on and off. Our detector van is in your area now. Ashley Green. And if you are caught not flashing, you could be fined up to 12.5p and have your cuddly bed socks towed away and impounded. So flash now. You know it makes sense. Listening. Yeah. Oh, enjoying the show tonight. Are you? The devil, you. Yeah. I know. I'm always here at the other end of the radio. Franklin. Give me a call soon, Cuddles. Bye, love. Bye. <laughs> Now then, seeing so many people keep phoning up and asking me to sing, what I, what I did this afternoon was I sat down and I wrote a song. I thought I may record this. Now, just listen to the words of this. You'll be moved. Oh, me cuddly Dave, I'm a bit of a rave. The girls, they go mad about me, scream and shout and want my body, Dave. Me cuddly Dave, there's nobody better than me. Twenty-six and I'm looking great, Bo Derrick wants to be my mate. Dave, 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 oh me cuddly Dave. <laughs> I get worse. Night Rider Neville tonight in Astley Green on Manchester Road, outside the co-op, opposite the Miner's Arms, at 12.20, collecting toys and tins for our Christmas appeal, because in 20 seconds it will be the 1st of December. The first dedicated listener and enthusiastic flasher there with a toy or a tin, and you will receive a T-shirt. So go on down, Astley Green, Manchester Road, outside the co-op, opposite the Miner's Arms. Hits after midnight tonight, chosen by Melanie Bloor, who lives over there in St. Helens, and a nice choice of music she's got as well. I tell you what, after, after writing that song, it's really taken it out of me. What I'm going to do now is actually go and have a lie down. I'll see you on the other side of the news file. Piccadilly News File at midnight, a comprehensive roundup of the day's news with Janet Wyatt. For our news, first on Piccadilly. I always go to bed with Dave Ward on the radio. Do you? It's our final time together tonight. Well, so to speak. Please, no cheering. We will be here, of course, for our party tomorrow night. But it's our final Under the Bed Clothes program as we've come to know and love over the past 89 years. Because that's, you know, I've been here quite a few years now. Well, four and a half anyway. I tell you what, last night I had a dream. I did. I had a dream last night. I dreamt I was on stage at Quaffers getting mobbed. And I, I dreamt that girls were pulling me off the stage and, and ripping off my clothes. 
And don't forget our night rider Neville tonight, he's out in style. He'll be speaking to us round about 11.30. He's out in the radio car and he's at one of the liveliest boxes we ever did. Now that's a box in heel green, but tonight he's not actually doing it from the phone box, although he's parked quite near the phone box. You can't miss him because he's in our Piccadilly radio car. It's the radio car, the one with the 90 foot 6 mast. <laughs> So there you can find him, along with the team, of course, Luscious Lil. She actually hangs her... I don't know. She hangs her garter on top of the mast. I was going to say something else then. And, of course, we've got uh, Big Mike Deegan as well. So please take your toys and your tins for our appeal if you wish. And just go down and say hello. We could be having a natter to you on air. And, of course, for the final time tonight, it's Ease and I. Easy girl, how are you? I'm fine, Nadia. Oh, I'm going to miss you, Ease. I miss you as well. But we're going to have our party tomorrow night, aren't we? Can I come? Yeah, of course oh, you can come. Man. Oh. Listen, we're going to do a bit of reminiscing tonight. We're going to be talking about all the things that we've done, like bed socks and garters. I mean, it all started, you know, with bed socks. Just one phone call from a lady talking about bed socks three years ago started all this off. You realise that? So what I thought I'd do tonight, I thought I'm going to be dead generous tonight, we're looking for carol singers, people who can sing Christmas songs, and I'm giving away, I'm going to play Father Christmas tonight... Ho, ho, ho. And I'll tell you what I've got to give away. I've got loads of stuff to give away. I've got T-shirts. I've got Shaking Stevens' album. I've got Evelyn King. A new Elvis Presley album, King Wiles' album. David Essex' new album, the new one by ABC. We've got the new one by David Grant. We've got loads of albums. If you want to come on and you're a good singer, give us a call here, live into the bedroom. You know the number. Now then, we've got to say hello to, uh, to Dave and Thornycroft for Christmas. Also mention uh, the Dinner Lady outing from Brillington and tell others uh, that we've all got our overalls ready to wash up. So there we are, that's one that we got last night. And also wish Alan a very happy Christmas. Also to Mum and Dave and Sean and everybody else who knows me, that came from Alison. And one that came from Christine, she said, please, I won't call you Shirley. If you play as a record, it's for me and Dawn and my friend Mandy, and if you could do this, uh, she said, could you do it Saturday? I said, well, I can't do it Saturday, because I'm no longer on the Saturday show, but I can do it tomorrow night for you. She said, okay, but not too late, because I do need my beauty sleep, and I appreciate that. I know that you need your, blue, your beauty sleep. Now, as I said before, the... Um, the list is now closed, unfortunately, for our party, but you should see the photograph that came in today. <laughs> you sh I mean, the gang in here in the, in the, in the bedroom, they've got absolutely wild. Three delightful ladies. I mean, what about those, Andy? Ooh. <laughs> and it came from Josephine Massey, and they live in St. Helens on Merseyside, and you've never, ever in your life seen such rude photographs in your life they are absolutely delightful thank you for sending them in i'm just so sorry that you can't come and join us here in the bedroom tomorrow night you'll never know what my disappointment is and also to some very early under the bedclothes listeners they are sue and kim sue and kim used to live in new moston well i think they still do but they, they moved out of the flat that, that they were in and they really contributed an awful lot uh, to the early days of this programme. So, Sue and Kim, if you're listening, thank you very much for taking part. We're gonna watch that party! Felicity Kendall does it. Angela Rippon and Jane Fonda do it too. It's horizontal dancing with Cuddly Dead. Just hang on, just stay as you are, don't move. I said, I just wanted to get you in that position. That was nice. Um, it's our second binge of the week, and tomorrow night we're at the Ballyhoo in, in Oldham, and I think all the tickets have well been sold out. Now, because I've got to be on air at 11 o'clock, it will have to be an early start, and sorry to say, I won't be working with Mike tomorrow night, because we normally work together, Sweeney and myself, when we go out. Like we did last night, we had a really good time last night. It was absolutely smashing. We were singing along to all the Beatles stuff, you know, with the girls screaming, pulling us off stage, just like we rehearsed in the the afternoon. It was absolutely wonderful. It really was. <laughs> yeah, we paid those girls. If you're there last night, we paid them. We said, look, drag us off stage, make it look good. We'll appreciate that if you do it. And they did. So thank you for coming down. So don't forget, tonight we're looking for good Christmas singers, whether it's a carol or whether it's Jingle Bells or White Christmas, whatever it is, give the bedroom a call here, 061 228 6262. You can win yourself a new LP from Shaking Stevens, from Evelyn King, from Elvis, from Kim Wilde, David Essex's new album, the 12 inch from the Bell Stars, and also The Waitress by Christmas Wrapping, the new LP from ABC, the new one from David Gray. 
grants. We've also got T-shirts to give away as, as well. Got a whole lot of stuff to give away tonight. Hill Green, Brown Lane with the radio car, Lush Lil. Neville the Night Rider for his final call. I hope you're flashing your little lights like mad. You've got your baubles and your tinsel. All right. I'm dislating my nuptials under the bed clothes with Cuddly Dave. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it was pointed out to me today that 1984 is going to be known as the year of the Shirley. Wednesday the 21st with the Beatles and I want to hold your hand. 28 minutes past 11 o'clock, we're live on air from the bedroom and it's cuddly day. Please don't call me Shirley. We're here till 2 o'clock and we're going to have you singing carols tonight and singing Christmas songs and we're going to be giving away lots and lots of stuff. We've got some birthday calls to do and we've also got a birthday um, call to do in the next hour. We're going overseas in the next hour. I look forward to that. So don't forget, what, what have we had over the years? Well, we started off with bed socks and we developed from bed socks into garters. I mean, that was quite unique in its time, you know? Garters and bed socks. Unheard of before on British radio. And then we went even more daring. What did we do after the, after the garters? We moved on to, would you believe, a headband. <laughs> you right earlier. So the final time it's heel green and it's our Night Rider Neville. One man can make a difference, Michael. Michael Knight, a lone crusader in a dangerous world. The world of the Night Rider. Any problem? No problem. Hey, he's hey. there. And you sound so much different tonight. That's because I'm on a better line, isn't it? Because you're actually from the radio car. Of course. I'm oh. so manly. You really do sound different. That's right. Well... <laughs> you sound a bit of a man. <laughs> what do you mean, a bit of a man? Listen, I was, I was just telling our bedroom team before, we're, we're a little bit fatigued tonight, aren't we? We are a little bit. After last night, what a night. <gasps> You were, nice. you were a star last oh, night, you, you know. Thank you very much. He was there doing his bit on stage, introducing all the turns. He was so <laughs> good, you were, weren't you? Well, I was, of course. This he, is he, true. He bought a new outfit. So how you? He's not feeling too well. No, I'm uh, not feeling too good. And I thought, well, I won't take the Mickey out of him. It's his final time on air. Because I've appreciated everything you've done for me. <laughs> you have me crying in a moment. I was going to say, is there a little tear in your eye yet? Just, just a wee one. Oh. Just a wee little tear, yes. So listen, what's the turnout like for your final one? Oh, it's uh, very heartening, actually. It's about three and a half thousand. <laughs> 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 We've never heard laughter before, have we? No, we haven't, because you never get on the phone, of course. Three and a half thousand mm -hmm. people. Yeah, they're all going to sing Merry Christmas for us. They've got oh. three and a half thousand people. What about mm -hmm. coach parties? 162. <laughs> 162 coach mm -hmm. parties? Yeah. There's three from France, one from Germany. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a load... No, there's not one from Hong Kong. Don't exaggerate. <laughs> yeah, well, please, we'll have no exaggerating on this show. Hong Kong. C could you just ask them to keep the noise down if they would? All right. Just keep the noise down, please! <laughs> yeah, they, they are getting a little bit noisy. They are a little They bit. get so excited when they see you, don't they? Well, this is true because I'm such a, such a handsome person. <laughs> <laughs> All the things we can hear tonight we've never heard before. <laughs> Listen, I thought was perhaps you could perhaps get the girls doing the, the chanting again for your last one. Do you think you could? All right, then. See what we can do. Okay. What do you want? Shout it out? Yeah, I think I, I rather like shout it All out. All right, yeah. let's see. Can you do that after three? One, two, three, shout it out, right? Yeah, okay. okay. Off we go. One, two, three. Shout out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell us what to shout. <laughs> hey, they're very good. They're not bad. They're really good. Oh, I think that was. Uh, this went off a bit at the end there. Yeah, well, it does. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it. Well, listen, you've been a star. Can I just say in all seriousness that uh, I really appreciate... You've been doing this, what, about a year now? Uh, it's just about a year. It's almost exactly a year, in fact. Is it? 
Mm -hmm. And uh, I really have appreciated all the work that you've done. Thank you for doing it for me. It's been a pleasure. And of course, you will be joining us for our special party tomorrow night, won't you? I will. I so, will. I'll so, be there. So let's go out in fine style with your theme, Night Riding Neville. Any problem? Well, just before we go. Go on. I was going to get him to sing Merry Christmas to you. Will you? Yes. Go on then, have a sing. All right then. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Go on. Right. One, two, three. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Glad tidings we bring to you and your King. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. That was absolutely delightful, that. Thank you, gang. Any problem? No problem, and there never will be. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Again, a very, very big thank you to uh, to my pal Neville for all the work that he's done over the past year. And also a very special thank you to you for turning out. We really do appreciate it. I mean, it's it's not so bad in the summer when it's nice, but, uh, well, over the past few weeks we've had some rotten weather, to say the least, and uh, it's amazing how you really do turn out in force just to see one guy making a phone call. And that's absolutely tremendous. It really is. Thank you very much. And he will be back on air later tonight with me. Uh, as soon as he gets back, we'll be having a chat. And, of course, he will be... Um he will be uh, with me tomorrow night for our special birthday edition. Of course, uh, we'll actually have an out under the bed clothes party. Now that and now. Mm. Mm. With Dave Ward. Yes, belated. <laughs> now we are the final kiss. From you to me. Now, me and Dave Ward on the radio. There's one thing you can't afford, that's to miss the show. Toys and tins for the appeal. Christmas comes but yearly. You can laugh and joke with him, but don't call him Shirley. Piccadilly News File. At midnight, a comprehensive roundup of the day's news with Nicola Merrick. Under the bedclothes with Cuddly Dave, he's now 26 and one foot in the grave. Bedsots and garters and Neville the man, an easy olive whenever she can. 11 to 2, UTBC, it's Cuddly Dave for you and me.